Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Melissa. And today, I just wanted to share a little something with you. Uh, that I feel that God has laid up on my heart, but I've just kind of been like, mm, I don't know, because I... I certainly am no preacher. Do not t take this as if I'm trying to preach to you because I'm not. And I didn't want people to think that I was trying to preach. But this has just really been up on my heart since this whole coronavirus thing has been going on. And the thing that kept coming into my mind was... Will you be left behind looking for more than just toilet paper? And I know that sounds like it's a joke and all, but really it's not. Because it's like, I mean, yes, I've been hearing that these are the last days since I was a little kid. But we really don't know exactly when the last days are. So, we really could be living in the very last days. The last days could be a hundred years from now. But, for me, hey, I, I want to be prepared now. It, just in case, I, I don't want to be unprepared because... Uh, hey, it may be a hundred years from now, and I won't be alive then. But the other thing is, even if I'm, we're not living in the last days. Who's to, who's to say that this isn't my last day? You know, just because uh, we don't know that uh, for certain that we're living in the last days. We also do not know when our last day on this earth will be. Uh, you know, God knew before you were before He even created you when your last when you were going to draw your last breath. He knew whether you were going to draw your last breath from coronavirus or whether you were uh, going to be driving to the grocery store. And be hit by a semi. So, I mean, this. Either way, you need to be prepared, and that's what this whole what this whole thing has been laid upon my heart about is whether it's being prepared uh, for the rapture, or whether it's being prepared for just. Your last day on earth. For when it's your turn uh, to uh, to be judged by God. Of whether you're worthy to enter the gates of heaven or not. And if this... You know, I know my videos always say like, share, whatever. But I really do ask that you, everybody shares this video because there may be somebody out there. And if you help, just reach. If, if by you sharing this video reached one, just one person... And they entered the kingdom of God. I mean, that's just amazing. And that's all I want to do. Is just if this if this video just helps even just one, then that's wonderful. So right now, I just want to take a moment. For those of you who may not know uh, Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to take the moment for uh, you to get to know him. And uh, just ask him into your heart. So, 
if you just want to repeat this after me, say, Father God, I know that I'm a sinner, and I just ask you to forgive me for anything I've done wrong. And God, I welcome you into my life. I ask you to take over as Lord and Savior of my life. I surrender all to you now. Lord, I thank you for washing me white as snow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And that, saying that prayer, you have become saved. And I just ask that you just find a spirit-filled church who preaches from the Bible. And... If you if you know somebody that uh, goes to church, ask them about their church, what what they believe. So anyways, I am so glad that you are now going to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I will be glad to meet you one day. When we all get there. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Please share this video. With others. Just so we can. Uh, all reach one. At least one person. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.